the Cold Omaha Podcast Network. I think my ego took an even bigger hit. I think we need to go back even further to when Kevin Love was still in Minnesota. Now, I don't know how you felt exactly at this time, but I was all in on Kevin Love. Kevin Love was an assertive rebounder who scrapped for loose balls. He played like he was 7'2", even though he was about 6'10". He could shoot the rock. He was a leader. And then he went to Cleveland where he had to play second or third banana or whatever it is. And, you know, I don't watch Cleveland that closely, but it had seemed to me like after a year and a half of turmoil with Kevin Love that he'd finally figured it out. You know, they were finally moving him around in the offensive sets. They were getting in the touches he needed to get in the flow. He wasn't just standing in the corner like a statue. He was rebounding. He had like 10 of... 15 double-doubles in the playoffs leading up to Game 2. So I, I saw the line on Bovada, our good partner, coldomaha.com slash Bovada, and minus 135 for K-Love to get a double-double. That's 10 points and 10 rebounds. Heck, with Kevin Love's outlet passing ability, he could have had 10 assists. I, I said, how is K-Love not going to have a double-double in what's sure to be a classic Cavs bounce back, right? Now... I place the bet, and then you come in here. You come in late. You know, you missed the moment of truth when you could have talked me off the ledge. You know, some people have things to attend to in life. Yeah, I can't imagine what. And Kevin Love goes out and just stinks up the joint. I mean, even in the two and a half quarters before he left concussed and woozy and wobbly, that guy was horrible. (laughs) I mean, he... I thought they got him out of the the rut of just standing in a corner. All he did was stand in a corner. He got blocked early in the third quarter. He got blocked by Steph Curry. At last I checked, it's it's not Steph who's the the all NBA defensive player on the Warriors, right? I mean that's that's Draymond Green. We're talking about Steph Curry blocked Kevin Love and he was not the only one. I mean it was a block party. <laughs> with the Warriors just rejecting Kevin Love. And, you know... he can't jump. He can't jump. Clearly. Clearly he can't jump. And you pointed it out, and it's so true. You you find out how good or bad a player is the second you start betting on them. And Kevin Love was woeful. Woeful in Game 2. Yeah, I've been a Kevin Love hater ever since... Final four game against Memphis against UCLA. And Joey Dorsey just pushed Kevin Love around, absolutely dominated him. Joey Dorsey's not even good at basketball. And Memphis won by, like, 20-plus. I mean, it wasn't even a close game. That's when I knew Kevin Love, maybe he can put up some regular season numbers when he's the only good player on a team. But I said it. When people were saying they should trade Wiggins for him, I said that was a terrible idea. I've always been a Kevin Love hater. People finally starting to agree with me. I mean, there were multiple, multiple times where he had his guy kind of boxed out, and then he just let him go around him or jump over him. I mean, no effort, no athletic ability. I just I don't understand why people think Kevin Love is a good basketball player. The Cold Omaha Podcast Network.